Hi everyone, my name is Audrey. I am your host for this Pick a Card Oracle that is about this new cycle that is opening. So I'm channeling this for the 1212 portal that's happening also for this new moon in Sagittarius. If you haven't watched this reading, by the way, you should definitely check it out. Probably will have something around here <laughs> uh, if you have not watched this yet. Now, I'm so excited about this because there is some DNA activation, which was already being revealed in the new moon energy in Sagittarius, but also 12, 12, the 12 DNA strands, the activation of something in your DNA. This is something you have in your birth chart. There's an asteroid. Five, 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 five. I'm saying this, it's like 55 seconds in, in the video. I'm like, okay. Uh, I've been very excited about this because its placement is in the degrees of Libra that speaks of change and breaking free from karmic cycles, ending old patterns, and starting something fresh, starting something new. So that's perfect energy for this new moon. So the way we're going to do this, you're going to have some options to watch this in different ways. You can just pick a card and you'll have four options with the four elements. So first, earth, water, fire, and air. Okay, so you'll have all four. You can choose according to your natal sign. If, for example, you're Taurus, okay, you choose earth. Now, I'm going to have a tutorial because some of you, if you want to know where in your chart you have the asteroid that's called DNA 55555, and you can pick the message that's according to the element, okay, as far as the zodiac sign. So, for example, if you have the asteroid DNA in Pisces, then you would watch the water reading. Again, you can just go randomly for the message. You can choose your sun sign element or you can choose your asteroid DNA element as well. So let's jump first to the tutorial and then to the readings by elements. See you there. Tutorial, if you'd like to look at your personal DNA asteroid, you want to go on to astrodance.com. And you'll have your birth data entered. This is extended chart selection. You can find this option under the free horoscopes, horoscopes, drawing and data and extended chart selection. So I'm going to keep the new moon in Sagittarius so we can also um, see that placement that I was mentioning. You would go when you need to add any asteroid. You would want to go towards the bottom. Okay, so instead of the new moon, you would have your own personal birth data. The additional objects are here. Some of the common ones are here, but DNA is not as common. So five, 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 five. Okay, so five times five. <laughs> and then you press show the chart and you would see, and it's spelled out, DNA, okay? So this is why it got me really excited, among many things, um, because the wheel starts in Aries, okay? And that means you complete a cycle of six archetype, then you reach Libra. This is definitely uh, the part where things change. There's a lot of subconscious teachings from this first archetypes and then you know we put those <laughs> skills to the test so there's definitely an activation of the new cycle um, that's opening now because this is happening for this new moon you know you can see that we have also happening in the fifth house this is creative juice you guys this is pleasure this is fun so I'm very like I really got excited just looking at this and I'm going to add something, it's not being shown here, but if you put DNA in Libra and you put it to Gemini in those degrees, the rising sign, and here it's a little bit loose, but it would, with the MC, the midheaven, this would form a grand trine. A grand trine is an energy that is super, super lucky, and that means that there is an activation between your becoming here 
and your public life. There's some type of reveal. There's definitely just so much excitement. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm trusting you're hearing this in my voice, but that's what you would want to do to look at the uh, your personal birth chart and where it would be. And if that's the case here, if yours would be also in Libra, you would watch the air element message. Now you could watch also your sun sign and your DNA sign, or just pick a random element. All right, let's do this. Pile number one or the earth element, either for your sun sign or your asteroid DNA sign. All right, so we have the tarot cards that are going to help us get clarity on the pile that was chosen for you. So we start with first the dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. And I have to mention the 22. Uh, this is some activation number, so there might be a lot of synchronicities that are coming for you as you're going through this new cycle. So there might be a lot of excitement, just like I channeled at the beginning of this introduction reading uh, for you, Earth Element. I'm seeing that there's a lot that is starting to reveal itself. The veil seems to be thinning more and more. You probably have done some major work um, for Scorpio season because that's when the veil is thinning and there was probably a lot of revelation and it's continuing to do so and align in the highest truth of your being. And let's see what we have here. We have the beauty card. I love this. It says grace, loveliness, integrity of form and spirit. Mm, a form and spirit, a beauty that shines in and out. Okay, that's beautiful. So maybe there's some revelation through the cycle as far as your own personal light, your own personal value, worthiness. I like this for you. All right, we also have the Homeland card, arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building settled it came in the reverse so we're going to see this um now wow i'm sorry but i'm just realizing this is card number one but this is card also 44 so that like i said with number 22 there's something as far as you being activated by you watching the synchronicities occur more and more so in your life and this card, I don't know why, but I have to mention it. It might resonate with some of you, not everyone, but it feels very much as a starseed activation, um, a remembrance maybe of Lemuria times. Um, there's almost like a call that I'm feeling, a call home. Haiti. <laughs> um, uh, you know, this, this kind of energy of... Maybe soul family or soul attraction manifesting here as far as this new cycle that is opening for you, pile uh, number one in earth element. Let's see what we have next. We have the chemistry card. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And the deception card, someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Now, I do feel that this is for the beauty mask and the chemistry here because of the activation all right so already this feels like you're going to enter a time that is so synchronized with the universe that is going to show you its magic but especially if it's showing you the magic on the outside guess who's magic you this is like this interaction now this is also what that placement is right now for the astro dna um in the first degrees of libra it's almost like when you start re changing yourself and realizing your potential you see the change in the world so there's something here as far as the cards that are re in reversal that we're going to want to uplift okay so interesting i tried to get the tarot deck and the last card stayed. This is something you might want to learn uh, as far as it's a old practice in tarot. Um, the 
last card, the bottom of the deck is usually a shadow. Okay, if you feel called to look at it or obviously when it's mm, staying there and being stuck. So is it something that you're stuck on? Okay, let's see. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. A shadow of the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why, but my oof, my finger here. So there might have been some type of illusion as far as... You see how it's like it's the sun? It's almost like who you should have become. Yes, this is what it feels like. It feels like maybe in the past there was a mask that you had to wear for especially the family maybe fitting into your family values you know maybe there was like a type of work a line of work an inheritance some type of you know business that was going to give uh, be handed to you passed on but that was like more materially based but there's something more spiritual there's something almost like you can't deny that wants to be activated. It's like this is an illusion. Maybe some of you, it's new, but that you're discovering uh, more and more so about you, that you're just different in that sense. I don't know why, but I feel like I need to look at the details of this. Um, this energy of this little child feels very elf-like, so it reminded me of Christmas. So I would not be surprised as we're channeling this and the 1212 portal that is opening up a, a great new cycle. Remember, it's happening at the same time with the new moon. So the full moon is going to be on the 26th of December. And it feels like there's some major, major things that are like almost like uh, activation, like almost like a sparkle, this, this type of light. Uh, that is being activated within your blood, your flesh, your bones. Um, and that is going to be really shone with greater light through the full moon. Because remember, this is when you have an opposition and the sun shines the light on the moon. And something that was hidden gets revealed. Now, the new moon, we have those new intentions. And this is definitely what I channel for this activation, the cycle, 28 days where we have some major skills, spiritual gifts that are activated. So the shadow was what I described as far as maybe there was a legacy that was more material based that you feel that maybe you had to step out of, or maybe you're still struggling to step out of that path or being truthful about this but it's almost like I feel this is almost like it's the homeland this is kind of like showing me why that that, that reversal would happen um, and this is where we're going to shift this energy and shift that that gateway so it opens up properly for you um, with other cards because it's it's almost like here <laughs> there was an illusion there was an illusion about what you were capable of. Some of you, you may have held fears towards what was possible of you accomplishing here. I don't know why the cards are keep on like, like spreading itself. There was another card. So maybe another shadow. Let's see. Knight of Cups. Mm. This is interesting because here it feels that some of you, in order to activate this, you had to go on a quest of self-love you had to maybe also dissociate from certain relationships. You see the shark here, the shadow, and that's two shadows. So maybe you had also to move away from two materialistic uh, or pragmatic, and I would say even like narcissistic, self-centered vision or people. You had to offer yourself something greater, and that's that, that's calling for you. So now let's shift those energies. <sighs> and this is where I feel I'm breathing again. All right, let's see. Because it feels like, it really feels like this card is here. It's almost like you thought you were made for something. But this beauty you are holding inside... It cannot be contained. And what I mean by beauty, it's the light of God, the light of the universe, that source that wants to, you know, be born, especially with this type of flowers. I don't know if she's 
seems to be among you know water lilies uh maybe uh, or the lotus flowers just out of the mud there's just this renewal and out of maybe a period of time where you felt like maybe you were not on your highest path or lying to yourself about what truly you wanted and what you deserve so now there's a call it's like ding ding <laughs> like definitely a call oh i keep on taking cards and this deck keeps on showing me shadows oh yeah it's time the justice it, it but, but there was something here that i feel that some of you especially with the precise location of the astro dna for us collectively this is a placement that speaks of karmic chain breakers the black sheep the ones that have to be different that thought that yeah i was going to be on that path or the family put all those expectations uh, because you were beautiful, because you were smart, because of whatever. Uh, but at the same time, there was also that that duality. It's almost like you could do so much better or you could achieve so much more. But more according to whom or what? Other people's standard. Okay, And that means that you probably have walked a path. And again, this is a card 11. Okay, 11, 44, 2, 2. Number one, there, there is something about your uniqueness and that new cycle that is opening that's about your spiritual gift, something that you have to offer. But you have to step out of um, some of the expectations, you know, understanding how maybe heavy it feels to wear a mask that, you know, not being an authenticity learn how to connect with your spirituality some of you maybe you had to go through a spiritual awakening or a kundalini awakening with the chemistry and you had to focus a lot on self-love and being detached from other people's desires and projections of you on you to rebalance those scales and break free Boom. all right let's continue here okay all right so the Four of Swords, it's been dormant. Oh, wow, this is interesting, you guys. I have to mention this because, uh, because it might be for someone, okay? Especially with this, the web here and the Four of Swords, I feel an, um, almost like Sleeping Beauty energy, but with the witch, there's a show on Amazon prime i think that was called the discovery of witches and vampire or just the discovery of witches maybe there's vampires in there uh, but there was something about a young child that was you know there's a there's a way that you can protect your child from their powers by almost like binding them okay and it's almost like maybe you were bound in your potential or you some type of like chain there could have been some karma that had to be um rebalanced or simply that you had to understand a little bit more of the law of action reaction i i feel that i want to i have some dice here you guys with the planets there's, there's some there's some activation here and I want to use the dice so let's see there's something some of you it's going to be in your chart okay so some of you if you are curious and you want to look there might be an indication in this dice among which your DNA asteroid that's something we covered oh it's 1333 here oh, it's so much synchronicity I just I almost like can't I can't hit it's like it's this was meant to happen at this time there's something in you that is awakening that was i wouldn't say spellbound but it's almost like it was held so it it would have more power once it awakens because it needed to be in perfect alignment with those realization and that level of awareness and consciousness so some of you it's going to be in your chart or just um, i knew saturn i knew i knew saturn would come because of this and look at this holy moly 
we have the Sagittarius. So it's already the new moon. This is this was this was meant to happen on this day. It's almost it was it feels almost like um just like uh, in those Disney movies, you know, it's like you, you were kissed by by the prince or whatever, <laughs> or even by the princess. I don't care. Uh, but it's like it's a faded moment in time for something creative. Look at this, the fifth. <laughs> I can't. I can't make this up. You know, with the asteroid DNA being five, triple five, um, quintum pole five, uh, in the fifth house. It's it, it, it's again. It's just something that was so destined. You were probably protected pile number one by if you connect to the star seed language and, and belief systems, you know, which I, you know, connect to, um, the, the, by, by some, some family, soul family that is beyond this world. It feels like there's something that needed to be activated right at this time. It needed to rest and almost like, I wouldn't say like a, not a weapon, like a secret, but it's almost like some type of power that needed special care, special awareness, so it wouldn't be misused, misfired. Wow. Okay. All right. This card wants to be seen. Okay, we got a lot here. Let's see. Yeah. Look at this, the emperor. It's in your, you guys, this is in your stars. This is, this, this DNA activation. Uh, you know, I did not create <laughs> for the first time. I'm like, I'm not going to create a special DNA uh, asteroid reading. But if that's something that you guys feel you want, I can always, you know, uh, create that. I'm going to let you decide on that. You can reach me. I am the matrix oracle at gmail.com or you can comment in this video. Say, yes, I would like to have that access um, because your placement seems to be very significant with this transit. But we have more cards. Okay, but that that was that was written for the specific alignment and portal. Okay, seven of cups in reverse. The Ace of Wands. The Ace of Cups in reverse. The Four of Cups in reverse. And the Strength. Okay. All right. This really feels that... You had to make a choice, pile number one or earth element. You had to make a choice and a choice of love. You had to choose yourself. Remember with this energy, especially with the Ace of Cups in reverse, you had to choose yourself. Remember this, you were like maybe bound to whatever the family expected of you. You needed to choose yourself. And maybe, yes, it's taking the chance like, yeah, you say I won't be happy or this could happen, but I'm taking the chance because I choose what's in my heart. And when you do this, there is a strong activation, the sword of truth, but here is the wands. There's something, now the wands is that energy in motion. There's something in you that gets moved. That almost like, and I would say if you're not, you know, dancing yet, you should definitely <laughs> Look at those notes. Definitely shake, shake and dance to this frequency, to this music, because there's something in your soul that was dormant. Remember, we had that four of um, swords, but you had to choose this because you might have different timelines, different legacy from past lives that needed to be brought into a very precise path. And that was the path of you acknowledging your worth, your beauty. And that maybe, yes, you're unique, you know, not from here, from beyond the stars, but that means what? Uniqueness. There's something in you that's unique. And that is opening up 
the new cycle. Remember, because we said what new cycle is opening, but we see sometimes a little bit of reversal. So you had to transcend a lot to get to that point. And we saw already a lot. And sometimes you were feeling that there was something missing. With this four of cups, I would say that maybe you had to do some inner child healing. That could be something that still needs to be done because it's towards this energy and almost like the activation. It's like there's a, a need for you to retrieve some of the soul fragments of maybe events from your past, this childhood, past life, you know, depends on your awareness, but maybe things that you witnessed that made you feel less of or made you doubt or made you wonder or made you be too much in your mind versus your heart. But definitely, this is happening. You're changing the old stories. You're changing all this negativity. You have the power now. You have definitely here, I feel that some of you, you have the power to shift, um, you know, your past into a greater story, but one that is like really revealing your true beauty, your uniqueness and awakening something that is in your blood, in your vertebrae, your, your, your soul. <laughs> okay, so I did create some little cards, you guys, because you know that I like to prescribe some of you, you know, when you get personal readings, I prescribe you some frequencies. We're going to, um, I have some frequencies here as far as all the playlists that I have and see what could benefit you at this time. Even though I said a couple of things that could hint certain things, I want to see if there's a particular song for, or, you know, frequency healing for pile number one that wants to come forward. Those cards are a little stuck. So they're a little bit new, you know, and there's just words, so bear with me, okay? <laughs> That's not enough cards, but okay. All right, let's see what we have for you. Earth element, okay, two wanted to come. Oh, I love this for you. Staying true to yourself. That's in the super empath playlist. Okay, there might have been some, that's for this, the struggle with stepping out of that old timeline or timelines that people wanted for you as far as your parents. And the yang frequency healing. So some of you might be that you need to awaken more of your masculine to take action. Or if there is any type of frustration, anger, any type of excess of yang, that rebalances your yang energy, whether it's too much or too little. Okay, so that's what I have for you, pile number one, as far as the earth element, whether your sun sign or your DNA element um, sign. That's what I have. Please don't forget to like this video. Let me know if you want me to create um, a special promo for reading your asteroid DNA 55555. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Pile number two or the water element, either for your sun sign or for your asteroid DNA uh, element. Okay, so let's see what we have as far as this pile and then we will pick some um, tarot cards to understand a little bit more what new cycle is opening for you as we channel this for this 1212 portal. So we have first the Rhino Spirit, overcome any obstacle, number 50. Now, <laughs> there's something here as far as this spiraled energy that I feel there was maybe a cycle of repetition. And remember, this is where right now the asteroid DNA 55555, so 5 times 5, is placed for everyone. And it speaks of breaking the chains of a repetitive patterns. It's, it's when you change you, you change your world. And we have a five here and a zero. That means new creation. There's definitely some type of obstacle, some type of thing you have to overcome if you're here with this pile. Um, 
you know, water element or pile number two. Falling in love, kissing the divine in another and in yourself. Very interesting. Okay. And the mirror. Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Wow. It's definitely with this energy right now. Some reflection, some strong seventh house energy. It might have been, you know, um, some type of past relationships and dynamics. Remember those cycles? And especially with this rhino spirit energy, maybe there was, you know, a loss of, and it's, I don't know why, but I'm looking at the st strings here in yellow gold. There might have been some dynamics or relationships in the past for you. Um, pile number two, where you were losing your power. Maybe you had to regain power. You had to see beauty. And it's interesting because the way it falls, she's on this side, she's on this side, she's looking in a reflection. There's just something that she was not seeing. There's something you were not seeing in the past that stemmed from you. There might have been a tendency to see the beauty in others more than in ourselves. Maybe rushing into falling into relationship, projecting all that you were. And thinking the person was that because of, of your super luminous, super luminous aura. That's what it feels like, um, you know, water pile. Let's see what we have. Express your love in the reverse. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay, under this. Again, this yellow draping. Mm -hmm. And stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. This is interesting so far for you, water sign or placement or just pile number two. Because it feels that love, your relationship played a huge factor on how you could really see your, yourself. And... Stay positive, maybe, of what could be offered to you. And I feel that you were giving a lot of attention. You're giving away a lot of your light, a lot of your effort, a lot of your love, more to others than yourself. So there's a shift here. There's a breaking free from this cycle. So we're going to shuffle first. And I'm going to do a little bit like um, what we saw for pile number one. Where they, well, maybe not, <laughs> but we will. Uh, the shadows are usually under the deck. This is a call here, six of cups. Now, I don't want to generalize this, but some of you, there's something about a, a very soulful relationship, and it could be activated by you reconnecting with your inner child or by bringing more love to yourself so you can reconnect with a path that is in alignment with yourself, your heart and soul, okay? Because this is more about childhood memories. You know, uh, it can be associated with twin flames, soulmate energy. There's a lot of love for others. And this is where I feel like you have to watch out because... Um, I feel you had to call back that energy to yourself and especially give it to your child, to your inner child. Some of you, if you're parents, you had maybe to watch how much you were giving to others, even with your children. Again, obviously your kids need you, uh, to a different level than adults. Um, but were you aware of that? I feel that like some of you, maybe you had to face with uh, very immature adults that were acting like children. I'm sorry, that might not be for everyone, but <laughs> almost like some of you, I would say, you might have to transcend, especially with the yellow, yellow. It could have been a lot of narcissism 
things that were taking away your power. But I feel like some of you maybe even raising your parents or you had to, you know, be in charge of your parents as children. So there is something here as far as the obstacle um, that you're transcending thanks to this activation. This portal is taking away the burden of this past dynamic. Now, there is still a card that's reversed, and this is where I want to look at the shadow. And we have here, okay, the high priestess, again, with this, this, this yellow, this, this aura. You, you definitely, the runes, you had to maybe become spiritual. This came in reverse, so they might have been you might have been born into a family that was not spiritual, okay? Or that was not connected um, to this type of things. They might have been open or not. But there, there, there was something in the intu intuition that was maybe veiled for a while. But it's, it's going to be removed because in the shadows, there's also what's hidden. And what's hidden has great powers, now, this is the first time that I actually look at this card in those details that she has a black candle and a white candle on a white pillar and a black pillar. Now, this is usually what we see in the High Priestess with the two pillars, one the pillar of mercy and the one of severity. You might have had uh, some very um, harsh experience in duality. Again, it's under the obstacle. I feel if... You have picked this or you had your, you know, uh, your sun sign that is in a water placement, Cancer, uh, Pisces or Scorpio. Or if you have your DNA asteroid in those three signs, um, that could have been that it was part of reactivating your power. But it feels like it's going to become like, it's going to come strong. It's going to come on strong, almost like. A flow obviously we're in the water element almost like you had some type of barrier and it, it the water the water the, was just keep on accumulating the power this this you know and there's going to be a release an unleashing um that is coming for this new cycle let's see what else we have five of cups in the reverse Some of you, you had to also experience um, maybe a lot of feeling very alone here. I feel that even though it's her birthday, she's only focused on this. You may have also, especially here, focused because of those negative imprints from past experiences. You may have for the, a long time focused more on the things that hurt you and the things that didn't go well. Versus the things that were still there to celebrate. I'm really paying attention to the purple. There might have been like some crown uh, that was blocked as far as the chakra. Maybe you were not receiving um, this, this sense of feeling protected by the divine. For some of you, okay? But again, remember, this is a change. We're seeing what what you where you come from. Like you've gone through a lot here, pile number two. Uh, it feels like you you might have a lot of seven files energy. I mentioned this before. Okay, so we're gonna look at this, but we're also going to um, pull some dice as far as this energy. So this could be things that you want to look into your chart, zodiac sign house or even planet but let's see what we have scorpio i had told you like here scorpio sun okay you sun with all this light some of you you were just very powerful and the number two two there was something about your relationship maybe that lingered for a long long time that has been just taking away a lot of your power now does that mean that you need to leave the relationship. Sometimes you do. And sometimes it's more about putting up boundaries. And being able to say no. Especially with the express your love. Now I feel I can. I can wow. Now that I said that. 
no, I feel I can shift this. Okay, so some of you, it's almost like there was some type of giving away so much of your life, your time, your energy that you said yes to everything. And this was getting you off track with your intuition. It's almost like, hey, honey, what do you want to do? Well, I want to do this. And you didn't say that really you wanted to do that. And that's an opposition. And you keep on doing this. And what it does, it splits your timelines more and more and more away from your intuition. Oh my God, I feel so much better. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really feel like, you know, like almost like I, I get it now. Like you have to make sure that you understand that when your heart is being called to do something, even though it might look, especially with this dynamic where I felt a little bit of narcissism and taking care of needy parents or immature adults, um, it was splitting your light and splitting your focus, your intention and keeping you away from what y y your heart was calling you to do. And actually, this is where it calls you on your path. So you have to watch that. I, I feel like st there's still some block here with the focus because we have to mention this, okay? Stay optimistic about your love life. I feel that this is where you have to shift your focus and almost like create a mantra or create some type of affirmation that reminds you that when you choose you, you actually serving others to be empowered as much as it empowers you. You have to empower yourself by your choices. Okay. Oh, I feel better. Wow. There was a lot of duality here that you had to entrench it. And, and I feel that it could have come from the past, childhood, you know, what, all that we mentioned. Let's see what we have here. Two of Swords. So this already remind me, reminds me, I'm sorry, <laughs> my English and my mistakes sometimes, sorry. Um, not sorry. Why do I say sorry? I'm sorry, I'm having a little tantrum of <laughs> That was for you, Paloma, too. I'm like, why am I saying this? Like, why do I have to apologize? This is kind of like, okay, this is what we were saying as far as when you're always offering others choices and you're forgetting about what you want. You have to watch out. You have to watch out. You have to be able to say like, well, you know, me in a relationship, that's what I want. And, or what I want in a job what I want in co-workers, what I want in a dynamic with family, whether it's by blood or not. What do I want? And I feel this is going to help you with this because it feels that maybe there was not enough expression of what you want. And maybe I had to start by saying no, but some of you, maybe you were scared to say no because then maybe you would have been rejected. And that, would, that was actually more fearful to you probably as a child to be left alone. Because maybe even that sometimes you may have left, been left alone, even if you were a good boy or a good girl. Wow. Whew. Okay, but we're opening up a new cycle. We're opening up a new cycle. Yes, we are. King of Cups. There's a new vision. There's more joy. This is also reminding me, I, I'm actually wondering if it's from this spirit animal deck maybe not so then i have a couple uh but one of the cards was saying this card with the dolphin meant this and that is true oh my god that used to drive me crazy when i would get this card <laughs> okay um because it shows the duality but almost it's saying to you what you want for yourself is not wrong and if someone says like well i don't want to do this or i don't want that like you do does that make you wrong you have to feel right about your choices for yourself. And it's funny because I put it into falling in love. So some of you, and you express yourself, some of you, it's really some type of power and new cycle. I feel strong affirmation. And by the way, in the zodiac, the number 50 as far as the angles of the zodiac, this is... Um, a placement that is in Sagittarius, 
5 to 10 degrees, and it speaks of eloquence. This is removing obstacles from speaking up your truth, from being your truthful self. And then we have the Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups, I pulled it, I, I did something with the card. So what I feel is that you have to realize your emotional fulfillment is up to you. We have a little cancer here that is defending itself. You have to put up the boundaries against whatever it could be, you know, I feel almost like this castle that could be just like sand castle. It's like you're the one in charge of building your own castles in the sky because you deserve to have your dreams accomplished. I feel like I still want to pull a card. Yes, six of pentacles. You're going to enter a phase. This is a new cycle opening for you. Because of the power of your voice, the new power of your aura, the new power of your intuition, the new power of choosing yourself and knowing that what's right for you is right for others as well to be in that vibrational of truth, authenticity. You're going to harness more positive mindset and outcome. You're going to be more responsible for your own emotional fulfillment. And this, this is the pentacles. This is going to change everything in your reality. Now, you guys know that I like to prescribe music, <laughs> if you've ever done um, uh, personal readings with me or followed some of my readings here. But now I wrote some of my music on those sheets of cards um, so I could, you know, get a channeling also for the readings. Maybe at some point I'll make real cards, but, you know, <laughs> for now, that's what I did. Because sometimes I have to even do this for myself. I like it. I'm like, okay, what should I meditate on? So let's see what we can do here. This card keeps on like really being wanted to be shown. No, only one. Nah. Again, I said, nah, no, no. And it felt almost like a song. It felt almost so good to the soul. Okay, yin yang frequency healing. You need to balance your mind and heart. And you need to repeat this so you can be in your own power and your own intuition and in your own choices in alignment with your highest path. This is going to open up that cycle where you shift all that past, all that darkness, all that maybe, you know, uh, especially also second house is about worth, all those maybe doubts about yourself. This is going to be transcended. This is what I have for you. Pile number two, water element. If you want me to offer a special promotion for reading your DNA asteroid in your chart with this transit, please let me know. Pile number one kind of had a lot of indication about that. I did not start it. I want to ask my crowd, my peeps out there, if that's something that you want, if that's something you want, you can contact me. I am the matrix oracle at gmail.com or you can leave me a comment below. Okay. That would be highly appreciated to have your feedback and also your like, your subscribe and your further support. Thank you so very much. Namaste. Pile number three or the fire element. So either you are a fire sign or you have your asteroid DNA 55555 five, 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 placed in a fire element. Or you may have just picked pile number three. All right, so we have some cards and then we'll pick some tarot cards to elaborate on whatever this is revealing to us. So we have the Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. That sounds juicy and yummy for a new cycle that is opening. I don't know about what you think, but I think you'll agree. <laughs> Fertility, wow. Potential, powerful creative energy, initiation energy, wow. There's something that is being awakened and being birthed. What is it? <laughs> reflections what you contemplate can actualize well this feels like manifestation windfall this feels big this is in the process 
of manifestation. Remember what's very powerful about that 1212 portal. It's also happening with a new moon energy. Some of you, if you haven't watched that new moon in Sagittarius reading, definitely go for it. Um, because there is some skill. There is something that already lives inside of you that wants to be born. And this is a 28 day cycle where things are going to be really speed it, sped up in their manifestation because the more you linger, I would say, in those reflections, those, those visions of what can be, of what you want, the more the universe hears and provides. Okay, let's see what we have here. So in the reverse, so here we have some self-love cards. Okay, they're romantic angels, but for me, I can, well, everything is about you. This world is about you. It's happening for you. So here we have reconciliation in the reverse. Someone from your past is returning to your life. I, <laughs> I'm sorry I have to say it because I heard it. <laughs> but I just felt this huge energy of F no. <laughs> okay. Um, but definitely with the fertility... Some of you, it could be the, the baby daddy, baby mama from a past relationship, okay? I, I'm, I have to say it, okay? Um, but this, this yeah, I, I just feel that might not be awfully in alignment with it. Some of you could be, again, let's elaborate on what was I I just want to laugh because some of you, it's just like there's just so much energy around this, <laughs> All right, and in the reverse engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, um, so it's in reverse, sorry. Maybe some of you could have been someone you were supposed to be engaged with. Some of you, it just feels like there's something about watching others also here. Maybe being engaged. Okay, I feel that there's something as far as maybe a past relationship that was in the way of that gift or that activation. It doesn't have to be the person itself. It could have been a pattern with the way you were. That can be reconciled. Okay, so it depends on the situation. That can be reconciled. But some of you, it was not reconcilable. Now, with this, I feel that there's some mirror effect also with others getting into places where they're engaged, they're married, they're buying houses together. And I feel that if that's something you want, if there's something about relationships or maybe even having a child uh, that you want, this, this can be provided. But there might have been some past that we needed to transcend. And again, remember, this is an opening for a new cycle. So you're definitely transcending this. Okay. All right. We just have to look at a couple of things. Okay. Yes. Oh, yeah. Queen. Queen of Pentacles that comes here. This is interesting because the grapes are here. This is gratitude. The buffalo in CERN, you know, with the abundance is about gratitude. There might have been some blocks around, yeah, around the worth of what something taught you in the past. This feels like, this feels like a shadow that she was in the reverse. There might have been, you know, when you struggle with certain things, it's, it's normal. It's hard to see the blessing of whatever was from a relationship, especially here. I'm seeing this cat with lots of babies. Uh, this one on a pot of gold, there was something that you had to experience that was probably around relationships or failed relationships, okay? But that was meant to activate something, and that's the first time that I see here, this little moon on her crown. There was a deeper type of intuition that wanted to come out from your previously limited perception of reality because it might have been too grounded in uh practicality okay let's see what we have the 
this is interesting because it feels that there was definitely, and some of you, I'm, I'm sure the gift was if you had a child that you shared with this energy, the child, especially sitting on this, this gold, it's almost like some of you, you may have had to birth a child with a person for something to be manifested that is greater than you even you know th this child had a path itself okay and th again that's not going to talk or speak to everyone but maybe even in if it's not an actual child a child is also a representation of maybe an experience some type of experience some type of maybe business whether it succeeded or not um it needed to be experienced now i feel i want to look at the shadows more king of wands this is interesting we have a queen and a and a king and this one is upright and it's showing you a direction it's showing you that it had to inspire you for something greater yeah you know what i feel that some of you maybe you had you aim too low in the past this cycle is going to get you what you deserve because you're going to start aiming higher, raising your standards. This is what I felt here with this kind of, you know, looking at others on the outside, people are getting this, that. Uh, maybe there was some confusion here, but that was from a past version of yourself. This version of yourself is being transcended greatly because of that energy it's it came in the shadow but it's it's interesting because it inspired me remember i said i'm going to look at the shadow and yet i felt such a great a greater perception of what i was seeing from the cards from that shadow you had a gift in you hear, you know, a fire element, whether it's your DNA asteroid placement or your um, sun placement, you had some, some shadow, some contrast to experience. Maybe it was a separation. Maybe it was a divorce, you know, that was going to be part of a greater awakening and a greater way to manifest your abundance. Let's get some dice. Um reading here it could be something in your chart you know uh, we're going to channel planet uh, zodiac sign and a house my eyes went right away to mercury the way you think and especially here with the five this is the fifth house but it reminds me again the asteroid with the five times fives but this is also inner child house this could be a house of pleasure this could be a house where you can see also um but this could be a house where you have your self-expression something that you did not realize was capable maybe i told you you had to raise your standards it, with the libra you know there was some type of there was some type of imbalance in terms of how you perceived yourself and what you were capable of I feel now I can change this. Yes, I feel I can change this because, you know, some of the cards sometimes or even piles, it's almost like I was feeling it more on an emotional level. For you, I feel it's a mental upgrade. You're tapping into more of the law of vibration, of resonance, you know, uh, going into that mindset, that mindset of, of power. Let's see here. Now that we're doing this. Yes. Oh, this is interesting when I said that. Now that we're doing this, there's a habit. There's a habit of something that you need to implement or that you started implementing in your life, in your daily routine, that is going to spark more of that new cycle. Again, more. This is just an, an avalanche a windfall of abundance that wants to come, but there was a lesson, a blessing in disguise in some of the shadows you had to experience. It was put on the map. It was put in your birth chart. You wanted this for yourself. It's hard sometimes to see it. 
but you're going to be capable of seeing some of the blessings as this activation hits you <laughs> and, 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 and unfolds for you. Yes. Look at this. The Empress. Now you're going to be able to start your own story by your highest standards. I feel that some of you, even like if, remember I said some of you might have been that you wanted a child or birth your family or something. Maybe there was some broken dreams, broken relationships, but it's not going to matter anymore because you're going to raise your standards. Even some of you, it might be that you're going to be a single parent and you're going to be fine with this because this doesn't mean it's the end of it. It means that you have everything that you want that is possible for you. Being alone now doesn't mean alone forever. And again, that's not going to speak for everyone. But some of you, if it is about career, because it can be about career, you might have had some hold up because of looking outside of yourself or not having the proper mindset about what you were capable of or realizing that you were not giving yourself the chance really you were holding on some limiting beliefs about what was possible for you definitely but this is shifting this is shifting big time the empress she can birth anything she wants she is she is she's above all the queens and kings we have the eight with the strength the strength card but you had to go through this because now remember that card came reverse. So this is and this is major arcana, major arcana. That was something that stemmed from this. A power to break free from the cycle, the karmic cycle. This is something that was given to you as a duty, but also for yourself. You kind of put that in your chart, in your stars alignment. Let's see what's even coming through because I feel like there was maybe something major here that needed to happen. Oh, wow, there's a card on itself, on its own little self. Okay, yeah, three of pentacles in the reverse. You had to be more in alignment with the divine. Remember what I said here at the beginning with the queen of pentacles, with the moon on the crown? There might have been too much of like, uh, you know, being too pragmatic, too based on, you know, I don't believe in what I don't see. It's like, a, you know, uh, I'll say I believe it until uh, not until I see it. There was there was a partnership that you level type of energy between between your heart, your mind and your God, God itself. You had to learn this. And that means becoming more spiritual and that means that maybe some of these events that were drastic, that had to change, they were needed for this to be almost like, a, it feels like so like opposite. It's almost like, yeah, maybe some of you, you were like totally broke at some point in your life. And what I mean, it could be financially or feel to, totally depressed. But this is opening something that is totally different. It's totally different. Wow. She's coming. The queen with the king. Now, this is interesting because remember, he came in the shadows and I felt inspired by him. <laughs> she was like, okay, it's as if they, some of you, you might have been some type of relationships. Again, it's it feels like some of you, you may focus on relationship, but it doesn't have to be. Whatever you felt that you wanted to manifest in the past, there was some type of lowering or limiting yourself about it because you did not see your spiritual power. You did not know maybe about spirituality beyond religion. Maybe you didn't realize that you were super intuitive, that maybe sometimes you had to leave a relationship and you stayed. But there's this wave and this portal right now that is offering you to shift that past in such great ways. It's because you walked that past and that path and had to transcend that darkness that this is going to show you how much stronger you can be 
if you start focusing more on the things that inspire you, that the divine put in your heart. And some of you, it could be that it is a relationship. It could be as simple as wanting to be a parent or just wanting to have a business or have it all. Okay, I really feel here it's almost like you want it all? You can't have it all. Why can't you? It really feels like you have to shift your mindset tremendously here, pile number three. It was not easy. It was not easy. Yes, it was not easy. The nine of swords. Some of you just realized this is a grand cycle for you that is opening. There's a new dawn. And this is swords. You had to transcend it again. That could have been depression. Even to the to lowest arc and expression of this okay i feel like some of you it's like you didn't want to even admit to others or share that experience that you thought about ending your days it's that intense it's that intense of what i felt here but that doesn't have to be because this is there's something there's a choice the two of swords there's a choice you had to make and some of you you're watching this you made it you made that choice you were going to believe in yourself you were going to believe in yourself and believe in the universe providing for you. It might have been a pause. It might have been a pause about this. Because you had to remove some of the emotions. Okay, so this is where I am going to uh, take my little new... <laughs> writings here you sometimes you guys know that when I do personal readings or even those readings I uh, do a music prescription where I give you some music to help you integrate those higher lessons and I wrote the ones that I channeled and have available on this channel okay and let's see what we have for you pile number three element of fire okay what do we recommend for you Okay, yes, of course. Ending energy and desire entanglement. This is in the Super Empath playlist. Okay, this is something that there was, because there was a lot that was maybe projected in a partnership, a relationship with a pair, you know, a partner we had, you had a kid with. Or even a business. They were, they, they, and you project, when you project and split your energy into certain timelines, you have to make sure that, you know, you recall what has not, what is not anymore, that, that power you gave to that timeline. And I feel this is something I had to mention because that card was still reversed. You have to call back that power from, you know, having all those fantasies and visions of the future in a past that is limiting now there's something greater and whether it was with a person or not it's a vision of yourself you had to things had to stall some of you have not i wouldn't be surprised that it could have felt like really tough to move away from this energy but this new cycle is doing this this is going to support you that's why i have for you Pile number three, fire element. Some of you, if you feel that you would like to have a special promo for the asteroid DNA as a reading, the pile number one had this really strongly, okay? So I'm offering it, but I am going to ask you if you want this, you can email me and ask for it. I am the matrix oracle at gmail.com or just leave it in the comment and I will oblige <laughs> because usually I do this ahead of time and I'm like ah, let me ask let me ask my soul fam if that's what they want okay all right that's what I have for you please don't forget to like subscribe and I'll see you next time <laughs> namaste pile number four or the air element so if you have your sun sign in the air element or your asteroid DNA in this element as well so tarot cards for later and first your little pile we have swan spirit time for a deep dive my attention is very much called here and the number 60 we'll cover that a little bit later the unseen 
too much is hidden from you. Remember, we are channeling what new cycle is opening. The return of Aphrodite, temple, birth of the goddess, guidance, goddess energy, treating as sacred in the reversed. Interesting. Trying to calm all the energies and thoughts and, <laughs> and downloads that are coming to me right now. I'm like, okay, okay, <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Let's look at the cards first. Codependency in the reverse. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Did I show you? Hmm. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So this deck, even though it is the Romance Angel, I actually like it for self-love. Because in the dynamics of our relationship, we find a lot of the mirror lessons that we need to master. I don't know why I started with this, but I feel it has to do with that as well. Now, in astrology, and especially in the Wheel of the Zodiac, the number 60 is the last degrees of... Capricorn. This is where we've been having Pluto station when it's retrograde, you know, between Capricorn and Aquarius. It's still in this degree, actually, right now. And this is about breaking free from mental prisons. Okay. And I feel this is kind of what I was seeing already with this crown, even third eye activation. There's something greater. As far as your perception, there's an activation of your inner sight, especially with the unseen. And when I was pulling this card, I, I asked you, did I show it to you? There was something as far as being too relying or rely, rely or dependent on having to witness your magic manifest right away so maybe in the past a lot of you had done a lot of efforts in shifting things in their perception okay in the way life was and it's almost as if it felt that there could have been a codependency with I have to work harder I am not doing things right I have to try to do things differently or be different in order to be where I want to be. But it's as if I'm seeing that you did not have the patience to let it really show you the results. It's almost like quitting before the miracle type of energy. Now remember, this is also the placement and element that we have the asteroid uh, DNA for the collective. So that's also kind of the collective message here where maybe there was some, some overly dependency or codependency in having to see it, to believe it. I don't believe it because I can't see it yet. And here, this is interesting. Some of you, and I'm going to mention it quickly, um, but I've been doing a, a goddess within awakening type of readings. And this has started with the Scorpio season where Venus and Kali have been tra transiting together. Kali, the goddess of transformation, of destruction of the past. And there's this energy here that comes out also of Ishtar, the equivalent of Aphrodite. Again, Venus. So the Venus transit, if some of you haven't watched the Venus transit uh, reading, this is something that I do for the membership on my Instagram and my YouTube for the astrology. I have two upgrades. Um, but there's something as far as your perception of how lovable you are how loved you are by the universe 
a frequency with the key, a frequency you had to reach, an inner peace you had to reach from yourself. But it was, you see, she, she's under the water and with those dolphins, like there was a lot with the swan. There was a lot of emotional, oh, I pulled it reverse now. Almost, <laughs> you know, like the swans can be reversed, like in diving deep in, in the water. Uh, there was a lot of turmoil in those water, a lot of unseen in those waters. Unseen. But there, was, there is a gift that I feel. And here with the let your friends help you, definitely feel that your spirit team, your guides, your higher self has been trying to help you. And there's more that is coming for you for this new cycle. This is going to be a new cycle where your inner sight, your third eye is going to be much more open. But we do have some things to transcend here. So what do we have to transcend? I don't know why I already put it or upright, but I feel that some of you, maybe this is something um, that you know as far as having to be on that self-love journey. I mentioned this already with the cards. You had to separate oop, from seeing your value too much from others. I feel like there was a movement. There was some, maybe some of you, you had to move. You had to move. You had to make a move. You had to take a chance on something. Okay, that's what it felt like. There was definitely something that <laughs> made me do this weird little mishap. Maybe some of you, it just felt like there was something that uh, looked like it was not what you wanted that turns out to be more in alignment with what you want. Maybe something you, you used to think that it was not what you wanted, but it's actually something you did not know you wanted. There's just, there's, there was a lot of unseen. Queen of Swords, there was a lot of untruth. This feels like very much like Game of Thrones with this chair. This is the first time I pay attention to this chair. This yellow. There was some, there was, okay. The thing that it was unseen definitely was your potential. There was, there was... Remember, some of you, you've been working with me, so you might have like received a lot of activations or been working with my music um, because there's something written in the stars for you. There's something written in the stars that is meant for you. It's, it's, there are some sacred texts. Some of you, you could be having access to the library, the Akash. You could also have inherited this very sacred um, connection to the divine. But there were some blocks as far as there was some addiction from, you know, I just said, like I told you, it's almost like you believed in it. And at the same time, you gave, were giving up too fast on it. This is a very common human, and I'm going to say the word, even if it triggers some people, flaw. <laughs> sorry, I was going to say, sorry, Virgo. I don't know why. The Virgo sign came up, even though we are in the air, but maybe some of you, you have some Virgo placement in your chart that make you have this energy. Um, two queens, but this one is upright. Okay, it just feels like for you, there is a new uh, opening, you know, pile number four, that is definitely going to manifest riches, but it's going to be starting with a different form of riches. It's almost as if you're going to unlock the mental prison and you're going to unlock the emotional waters and things that you did not know about yourself, your beauty, your potential. And this feels more like an abundance of self-worth, self-love and, 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 and something that you are meant to channel Something that is maybe connected from a past life, connected to the stars, some type of things that you've rehearsed from past lifetime, a skill, it could be a skill. 
Let's get more here. I'm going to uh, roll the dice and see if there's something in the chart or just a general message here. So it could be <laughs> Sagittarius energy, Neptune, and sixth house. There's something, okay, this is something that is of service to humanity. That is, but this is service to humanity first because it serves you. You have to apply the knowledge of something. Maybe it was how you had to awaken your, or, you know, awaken your third eye, break away from mental prison. Some of you, it's even like just you had to recover from a codependency, an addiction. You had to really believe in yourself. Maybe, you know, some of you, you may have become like a, a life coach, a mindset set coach, or, or something that maybe you want to become. Maybe you're connected to the divine, connected to source in a way that is of service. But there was some type of illusion in the past because there was maybe some disbelief that this was going to manifest, but this activation is making it happen. It's making it happen. Okay. Eight of Pentacles, you got to work for it, but not in the ways that you did in the past. Because I feel like in the past, there could have been um, some type of, uh, you know, when the times maybe you gave up on something or you may have started to practice laws of manifestation and a certain habit, and then you gave up because you felt disheartened about the results. They were not enough or it was not what you expected the expectations and was not or there was something unpredicted that happened but it's telling you that you've also practiced the skill of resilience persistence because i feel as you probably have that cycle inside of you and it was because you don't give up on something that your soul and heart wants so much and you had to discover it you had almost to discover uh, how that, that type of devotion. Okay. I remember, I'm going to share this with you pile number four. I remember when I was, I went to music college. Okay. And I was a voice major and I was, um, you know, so doing, um, stage performance and music orchestration, music technology, a lot of things. I remember one of the only thing that I hated the most was recording studio. Now I do this often because I'm, I'm composing music, so I'm laughing, but I used to hate doing things again and again. I used to love live performance. I used to love being in the moment, let myself flow in the energy. But again, where did I grow more? I grew more when I went behind and in the studio and behind the scenes more than, you know, the thrill of the stage which at the same time it was already <laughs> something that surprised me because I used to be very timid as a child but I had grown into it because I loved music so much and I wanted to express messages of support and love to others but I had to work on the things that were hard actually to get to the skills that were written for me Okay, so I, I wanted to illustrate this with this story because it really feels like something that could be resonating in the heart of some of you. Okay, because you have an angel team, you have your higher self, your spirit guides, your ancestors, you have a bunch of things that supports this to come out of its shell, of, to the surface. Okay, there's something, there's just so much more love so, and it's 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 so precious to for you to make it happen because it's that six house energy. Yes, it looks like it's serving you because you love it, but realize that when you showcase and apply things that you love, you're teaching others through your vibration all those lessons. Don't give up on your dreams. Don't quit before the miracles come. Continue and persist. Believe in the unseen. Believe in your spirit, guides, your ancestor. Believe that you were created with something to achieve and accomplish. Okay? 
but it was a path and this cycle is opening now for you okay this is opening up now for you you have to remove yourself from some many i would say <laughs> many emotional turmoil many emotional turmoil there was a lot of things even though you had mental prisons it feels like those mental prisons came from emotional patterns about how you felt towards yourself it's almost like having all this energy to start something or want something and then just something made you give up but you're done with this you're done with this you put this to the rest to the that's it you've <laughs> tested uh, practiced no more thank you <laughs> i think you had to put the swords down you may have had a pause on your journey may have experienced pauses in your journey just like here with the pause and believing in yourself and quitting before the miracle occurs but look at what's coming the queen of wands there is a blooming there's an unfolding there's so much power from and even though this is fire um wands energy this is this is inspiration this is your energy in motion that actually guides you you're able to this is some type of self mastery of whatever this is that you've gone through that is really shining through with this period of time one more card for you yes i think you just really developed the power of um transcending a lot of negativity and finding comfort finding joy and and finding strength there's a lot of power for some of you it's it's especially with this being also part of the collective um reading because of the dna asteroid um in displacement this is really the black sheep the karmic chain breakers you had to experience you know this this duality so you would serve yourself with this gift apply it for yourself suffer with the consequences of not following through and then just transcending all of this so now i did so this little card deck <laughs> with all my music playlist prescription so we're going to see what could be useful for you at this time this is interesting on this portion of your reading it's 1818 uh this is the zodiac is the last degrees of gemini and this is what i this is about divine justice this is the equilibrium this is you are going to finally receive what's due what you deserve in the greatest ways because you work so hard it just feels it it just feels you you had to transcend a lot of unseen believe in yourself and sometimes you did not and that's okay because you had to learn how it felt to just not get what you wanted and give up sometimes and feel like you didn't get you gave up but it was temporarily you just got back up i think i have this reel um that speaks of you know the one that falls is much stronger than the one that never does okay so when you fall you actually develop a strength and a skill that someone that hasn't fallen cannot understand okay you have the yang frequency healing so there might be here some re-empowering maybe you had some deficiency in your yang or some excess so you might want to work with this i feel there's another one. Ooh, okay this is interesting ending energy and desires entanglement this is maybe because in the past you entangle your energy into different directions of desires or with relationships some also path 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 lines and timelines with a pattern of codependency whether it was relationship substance codependency or over worrying your mental prisons that created certain splits in time and space you might want to review those frequencies um this is part of the yin yang playlist and this is part of the super empath okay that's what i have for you pile number four air element now pile number one came through with maybe an invitation of 
a special promo for the asteroid 55555 is that something that you want i usually create it but i thought i would ask my soul tribe is that something that you want and would feel would be helpful and supportive if that's the case you can let me know by emailing me i am the matrix oracle at gmail.com or you can just leave me this in the comments Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and thank you so very much. Many blessings your way. Namaste.